do you know what? I don't normally say this, but you don't have to use really it. Don't. Welcome to Mums Off Air. I am here to have a chat with the rather fabulous Rosemary Ferguson, um, naturopath, nutritionist, and mum of three gorgeous girls. Hello, my darling. How are Hello, you? I'm good, thank you. I've got your book clutched <laughs> under my arm. This is going to change my life. This book. Let's first of all, let's, you've got your book, Juice. Yeah. Tell me about why juices are really good for us. Well, they're just really like if you think how much fruit and veg goes into one juice then it's an amazing thing to, you know, it's a really good way, a quick way of getting fruit and veg and nutrients into you. You live at the countryside, do you grow your own? I do see. grow quite a lot of my own. You are basically like the good life, aren't you? <laughs> well, we moved, actually, when we moved into this house, I didn't realise we've got a massive orchard. I didn't know that when we moved in. But Bonus. we do, we've got an orchard with apples and pears and uh, bums, which are a pain in the neck to juice because they've got stones, but they are quite good in yeah. juices. And then, and then I have got a veg patch, yeah. Have you always eaten quite healthily? Have you always been quite a good, good girl in yeah. that way? Well, I've not been a good girl, yeah. but I've always <laughs> eaten quite well. You're not talking about your personal life. <laughs> God, don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um, I've always, I have actually always like been conscious of what I eat and not for any particular reason. Otherwise, then, you know, even at school I used to mm -hmm. think about, I've always been fascinated by what food can do for you. And like, just doing little things now is a really, you know, go for a walk, try and go for a little run. You know, ha try and have a juice, or you know, swap your swap your sweets for almonds, whatever it is. You yes. Know. Now on the su on the subject of almonds, oh, I've yeah. got my little tin here. I carry them with me everywhere I go. Tin. Why are it's almonds nice so tin. good for us? What is what is it that we're getting nutritionally from almonds? So they they're just amazing. They're a really great protein for a start. They've got really good fats in them. They're brilliant. They've got a lot of calcium in them. More calcium than milk, in fact. And fibre. And fibre, which <laughs> us girls need more fibre, don't we? Yeah, you know. exactly. As we're in a juice bar, yeah. you should come and show me what would be good. I think we kind of should have a juice. Okay, that's just really like nutrient dense, full of greens, really alkalizing, really like kale, parsley's good for energy, kale's good for detoxing, celery is hydrating, cucumber's hydrating. I need all those things. All those I things. Need to Ginger's good for the yeah. gut. I mean, that's a really like full on cover every bit, every, you know, everything's covered in that. I love the fact it's called Farmer's Market as well. It literally <laughs> is everything you can have to go and This one's from. nice actually. I noticed this earlier, detox water. That's quite nice. Just It's just very simple and you don't need to ju a juicer, I assume. Right. Lemon, lime, ginger, and cayenne. cayenne. Mm. The thing about it is cayenne is um, thermogenic, so it's heating. It's right. like chilli. It okay. warms you up and therefore it speeds up your metabolism. That's why cayenne and chilli. These are great things I need to know. Let's go, let's go and pay. <laughs> How do you cope with, you've got three lovely girls, you've got a very nice vegetable patch, oh, you've got to look after, you've got some dogs, and then you've got, you know, you're running your clinic and you're writing juice books. How do you balance it all? How do you? Um, uh, it's quite hard actually sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, <laughs> but I think, it, I, I think just actually what I do is when I say I'm going to do something, I commit to it rather than chopping and changing. So yeah. once I've made a plan, it kind of, unmovable well it's not but you know what I mean it's yeah. much better if I've planned st if I've got a timetable of what I'm doing you know and the do the kids get involved in all your juicing they and tested it? Do they eat quite healthily my kids, kids do yeah. they, oh. but then they also love junk as well but they do I have to say you can what did I stick in front of them the other day which is really not very nice I was trying out I was, I was trying out a fish thing and I'd done a I sort of thought I'd bake it and I'd made this I can't remember oh it was, it was a butternut squash sauce but actually it just Really looked gross, wrong, gross. gross. And I gave it to them, and they were like that. Thanks, this is Mum. Nice. <laughs> I know. And I was like, do you know what? I don't normally say this, but you don't have to. Really you really don't. Give it that to me. Thanks, lovely Rosemary Ferguson. Thank you, Thank you and all the much. tips, I'm going to follow all those tips. Uh, don't forget to check out some of the other Mums Off Air. This is me talking to Lisa Faulkner about tea and cake. And also <laughs> the wonderful Jodie Kidd about racing very fast cars. Um, and you can drop your comments in the box below. And don't forget to tell your friends and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you.